So I remember starting cold water, um, coming, I was coming off the back of a fell, a pike or something like that. And I was just so warm, <laughs> I was so warm. And I remember just being like, this is just a beautiful lake to dive in. So I dived in the lake. And then I got on Instagram and I got home and there's Wim Hof, it's in Wim Hof, you know, he's about now, he's everywhere, all over in. And the Iceman is something that I very appreciated of because, you know, seeing the benefits and reading his book made me really want to dive into the health benefits. Now, it started off just wanting to get a little bit healthier for bodybuilding, seeing it that could actually help me burn a little bit of fat, create some more white blood cells. But then now, you know, it made me dive so far into myself that, you know, I had this sort of, if I ever needed to centre myself and bring myself down to a, down to where me and a state that I needed to be, I could always use cold water. So that's why I always use it at the start of my day. You know, the feel good chemicals you can get from um, from cold water, just as a bit of example, 250 to 300 percent more dopamine is spread out over three to four hours. So why wouldn't you want to get high on your own supply? Do you know what I mean? That's a great way to put it. <laughs> One of the best things to do um, with your time, especially living in Cumbria, and feel the magic and just connect with Mother Nature again, is Wasdale. Just because I feel like doing doing a lot of the cold water now. I've done it at quite a few various spots. Um, even done some like uh, rivers where I've been on walks and things. Just sort of found different places where I could do it. Rydal Water, Estale, for example, some of Ennerdale, Buttermere. There are just a few of the handful of places where I've done them, but when you come to Wasdale, there's something just so, so much unique about it. I don't know if it's the view or what, but since I've been doing it, I've noticed a different feel when I've come out of the, the different streams, lakes, wherever, and that they're just like little energy charging places, and that's what I feel when I go in the cold water. I'm just getting that energy and connecting with, with Mother Nature again, which feels good to do it feels very good to do one you get a beautiful view um, two you're getting the benefits the dopamine of the cold water three you're like reconnecting with mother nature again and you know the list goes on um, in terms of just getting yourself out there when it's a great day as well you know rather than sitting inside four walls you know wondering what to do with your time you know there's lots of things you can do and it's extreme as well um, you know we've always been taught to sort of wrap up you know in the cold and things like that but if you want to strengthen your immune system if you really want to make yourself nice and strong and have a good um, immune system and get that white blood cell count up and get the dopamine and all the feel-good chemicals because stress is the biggest killer you can possibly have you know if you're not doing anything about your stress it's gonna to lead to breathing problems. It's gonna to lead to other diseases. You know, f you know, even genetically in your family, you might have a certain disease that over time has been gets progressively worse. And you know, stress, poor diet, you know, lack of training is one of the and is one of the ways that it can hit you. So, you know, being honest, um, the reason why I started this as well is to get a lot healthier. And what better way to do it? than reconnecting with good old mother nature. not about the time or whatever you're in here for sometimes it's just about getting in dipping your head enjoying the scenery a little bit you know and there's no pressure you know sometimes when you're so goal orientated you can set goals here you know just use this as a time to just come in and just switch off um, and that's the best thing I can say to it so go in
like a like a cave man. <laughs> When you first come and do it, there's an initial shock with the cold. You can get like a real initial shock. Over time, it'll just sort of get better. So to do, to combat that, there is ways, there's breathing techniques beforehand. Now, a Sim Wind Hoff, who I've got, obviously got this cold water from, um, you know, that's the, the absolute man with the cold water, the ice man. But I've seen him do it with like, the people who takes on it will do like breathing exercises beforehand and I think they usually do like three rounds of like 30 to 40 deep breaths um, and then on the last breath you'll exhale all the way out so you'll like literally your, your breaths are like through your stomach through your chest through your head all the way in like and then on the last breath you'll exhale out then you have to hold that for as long as possible on the on on the breathing out and then once you've held that for as long as you possibly can usually like 45 seconds to 60 seconds when you first start doing it but then once you get progressively better over time um you can hold it for a lot longer and it's a good way to improve your cardiovascular it's a good way to get rid of any anxieties and things like that so once you've done that you breathe out you hold that for as long as you can then you take a sharp breath in for 15 seconds um, and then once you've done that, you just breathe out. But it's really important on the on the on your breathe on your breath in the sharp breath in. You take it to your head, like all the way to your head, and then you hold for 15 seconds and then breathe out. Plus, it's something that I like to do. Actually, getting out because it's like you've you've got all the dopamine and the feel good from the cold water, and then you really you know, open up your lungs and you're breathing again. And it's just a good way to to get everything moving as well but I can't tell you how good this is you know I might look a little bit cold a little bit shivering now but it's just epic just makes you feel unbelievable like the energy you get like I just I just want to like to be honest I wish there was somewhere where you could just like jump in and do a few jumps in at the end of it and maybe after the suffering have a bit of fun here or something but maybe one day we'll build a ledge or something over there diving <laughs> this is the worst bit <laughs> getting changed when you're, you're about stiff there's an old man look see what I'm on about I bet this was a southerners because those northerners would not leave anything look at that terrible <laughs> Just want to stay for as long as you can. There's no better place in the summer, especially obviously when it's winter. It's a bit cold to be like chilling by a lake. But in the summer, get a few mates, a few beers, whatever. This is the place to be. There was always something deep inside of me that wanted to do something like MMA or boxing or something combat sport. Like it was something that when I was younger, you know, I'd always do ring walks or I would always play fighting with my brother. Um, it was always something along that lines. But what really cracked it would be, you know, just wanting to get healthier, get fitter, you know, enjoy life, see life as prolonging it and be healthy with my nutrition and take everything that I wasn't prolonging it and was actually maybe limiting my life here. Here and there, I wanted to prolong it a lot more and MMA opened up the doors for me to do that. But when I started, I realized it wasn't just about um, like fighting or anything like that. There's a lot more spiritual side to it, you know, taking it to deep water in your training. Cardio is a lot harder than anything I've ever done before. You know, you're really testing your lungs. And once you get a taste for that life, that, that fitness and that healthy nutrition and that good energy and, you know, the good laugh, the laugh with the lads. And then also when you're sparring and, you know, you have a bit of a rough day and then you have to really pick yourself back up and go again. Um, it's really rewarding itself. So again, it's just another level to push yourself, but mainly to get healthy uh, and to make sure that I can actually be here as long as I can. 
you know that's that's the richness of life it's about being here as long as you can and it's about us making it as happy as you possibly can and that's basically all i wanted to do just with the fight hopefully been scheduled for the 23rd of april so we've got the first little glimpse of some mma and that, that was the reason the goal behind it i wanted to you know see what see what it was like in in there and get a really dip my toe in the deep end if you like and um put yourself really in an uncomfortable position um but like i say I train towards it now so we need to make sure recovery is on track but mainly the main reason i do it is for the mind um and just making sure that you know for me if i'm doing all this like nutrition training cold water and just making sure that everything i'm doing everything in my energy that i have control over i'm putting towards myself and you know when you get in the ring or you get in the cage whatever and i feel like i've done all that i can then regardless of whatever happens in there you know i've known i've done my very best to prep myself body and mind so um and you know i feel like it will really show in there you know when you put a lot of effort into yourself mentally and physically you know that's when it will pay off so law of attraction i'm a law of attracting all that energy thinking about it putting all my energy into it and it can only have one outcome so uh, number one victory hopefully tko take down double jab take down and then into full mount and then hopefully we've just manifested that whole finish but we'll see <laughs>